One thing that's been on the rise these days are Bluetooth headphones because manufacturers are just removing the headphone jack for no reason. And the removal of headphone jack is a big thing because companies require courage to do it. Now I know that headphone jacks will eventually be eradicated out of smartphones and we'll have to go the wireless route for audio and I'm trying that. I recently got the Sennheiser BDNCs but those were bulky. I mean these, those sounded great but those were bulky. I needed something compact. Then I got these, the bullet wireless. They are the first wireless earphones that OnePlus made. So are they good and worth your money? Let's find out. Hey guys, this is Salim and let's get started. So the packaging looks pretty cool in my opinion. Opening it, we get the extra ear tips as well as ear fangs or ear hooks. Some people call it fangs, some hooks. I'll call them ear wings because they look like ear wings. As well as a rubber pouch in red. And I hurried out that these will fit the earphones. Opening it further, we get two booklets. One user manual and one safety information guide. And then the earphones. So the earphones are built pretty well. These are neckband style earphones, so you wear them around your neck. The left side of the neckband has a button which is used to power on or off the earphone as well as a long press sets the earphone in pairing mode. There's a charging port and thankfully it's type C. There's also a remote with a volume rocker as well as a button which can be used to answer in calls, play pawns music as well as script tracks. A long press on that button fires up a virtual assistant, be it Google's or Apple's. And the mic present on it is pretty good. When I used it for calling, the receiving party did not complain about the audio quality. Moving through the earbuds, these are metallic. They look and feel pretty sturdy. There are magnets present on the back of each earbud which I'll get to it in a moment. The earbuds have ear fangs or ear hooks, but as I've said earlier, I'll call them ear wings, which help them to stay in your ears and won't let the earphones fall out of your ears during regress movements. OnePlus claims that these are water resistant, but they do not list an IP rating for these. So these will be ideal for running or swimming where people sweat. But do note that they can't be submerged underwater, so you can't take them while swimming. Now, as I've said earlier, these charge via Type-C, which is super awesome because I do not have to carry two cables with me. That's four. Two cables with me. One to charge the phone and the other to charge the earphone. OnePlus states that they support dash charge and a 10 minute charge will provide them 5 hours of battery life. It could be helpful sometimes, but I do not own a dash charger so couldn't check that. Normal charging that is charging via PC or laptop takes like 40 minutes or so to completely charge them, which is pretty fast in my opinion. Now OnePlus claims that they provide a music playback of around 8 hours and during my time of testing these, I got more than 8.5 hours, which is pretty good in my opinion. Technically it's 8 hours 37 minutes. And regarding the volume, I kept the volume of the earphones at max and the volume of my phone at 65-70%. to 70%. So the battery life is pretty good. So for an average user, it will easily last two to three days. Now, as I've said earlier, these have magnets on the back and they are not just for show, they perform a very specific function. Sticking the buds together will pause your music as well as turn these off. And taking them apart will not only turn them on, but also connected to the last pair device. That's pretty cool in my opinion and that's my favorite feature of these earphones. Now, if you are a OnePlus owner, these will also resume music as soon as you take them apart. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. So OnePlus users have an advantage here. The range stated by OnePlus is 10 meters and I have not measured it accurately, but at approximately 10 meters, the audio starts to cut off. Now on to the sound. They do sound pretty good. I mean, not as good as my wired earphones, but good for Bluetooth. There is bass, it gets muddy, and I would prefer a bit of punch and detail in the bass, but it's there. I've heard people complain that they lack bass which is completely untrue. Maybe your phone was not able to output properly. The clarity is good, but since the bass is a bit muddy, it makes the clarity muddy too. The sound stage is okay, not good, not bad, but I feel at this price, the sound stage should have been white. OnePlus users also have an advantage here. So the DSP that's built into OnePlus devices supports these earphones. So OnePlus boys can tweak it any way they want. The main thing to note here is that they support aptX or aptX codec and I've seen a few videos and heard from a few people that they will only work on Snapdragon devices, which is completely untrue. My Samsung J7 Prime, which my mom uses, has an Exynos processor and supports aptX. My friend who owns an Honor View 10, which has a high silicon Kirin 970 chip, 
also supports aptx so if your phone supports aptx it will either show in bluetooth settings or in developer options also if you have android o it will probably support aptx sorry i was so the audio is good are there some cons well yes there are some cons firstly about water resistant now oneplus claim these are water resistant but the charging port is uncovered so water will enter the charging port when exposed to light shower so i wish oneplus makes an updated version of these like they do with their t power phones with bit better audio quality better sound stage and yeah a flap for the charging port so if you're a die hard oneplus fan or can sacrifice a bit of audio quality for convenience get these that is if you can get these pun intended because they are often out of stock and go out of stock as soon as they're in stock. They sell on Amazon as well as the OnePlus official website for 3,990 or 4,000 Indian rupees. I'll leave a link to buy these in the description below and I'll try to update the description area if they are in sale. So do you also have the bullet wireless? How do you think they sound? Do you guys agree with me? Sound off in the comments below. And since you're commenting, hit that like button, share it with the friends, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. That's it from my side. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Salim and I'll talk to you in the next one.